talked about structural stress, physical structural stress. Now let's talk about the second one, which is emotional stress. This one, this one is very, very, very rough. It's the worst of all three. And this is what provided me the, uh, the uh, I don't know, the motivation to do this today. And that is, how are you getting rid of emotional stress? Because we all have it, all right? Emotions affect your guts. And when your emotions affect your gut, that's affecting your health because there's a very direct link between your, your thoughts, your gut, and your health. Very, very direct link there. So if you are not taking care of your emotional stress by talking to a friend, by screaming into a pillow, by exercise, by doing all these ways to try to calm you, then what do you think is going to happen with that built up toxicity? It's going to fester and it's going to turn into something toxic and it just will. Okay, so handle emotional stress very, very carefully because it's there. And if you're not doing anything in your wellness lifestyle, your wellness uh, protocol, then you need to be considering that because it's very important that you address that. Do you have a pet? Do you have, uh, do you go for a walk? Who do you talk to? Do, do, do you have shame when it comes to saying what's going on in your life? Because I'm telling you right now, if you guys have not listened to Brene Brown's The Power of Vulnerability, I highly recommend that. I'm listening to the audiobook, which is a live talk that she's giving unbelievably amazing uh, what she's throwing down about shame and guilt shame is by far worse than guilt uh, but she just talks about wholehearted people people who don't have shame or who don't get caught up in shame are healthier people they live longer they live happier lives uh, people who have shame this leads to addiction suicide all of these other things so the, the the moral of the story there is is if you have shame you got to talk to people let that go because the more you hang on to that the more you hang on to that emotional toxicity from decades before right most of our shame comes from when we're little kids if you're holding on to that you need to release that in some form I don't know what it is for you but in a healthy way you need to get rid of that so E is emotional stress 